Hello, and welcome to the International News Channel. I'm Hazar Alsaba. Are we expecting our two Canadian Michaels' verdict to be the same after China upholds Canadian Robert Schellenberg's death sentence? The answer could be quite painful. Today, I'm talking on this complex issue at the International News Channel. Robert Schellenberg was arrested for drug smuggling in 2014 and jailed for 15 years in late 2018. The court said it upheld Robert Lloyd Schellenberg's sentence because evidence against him was sufficient. Schellenberg was initially sentenced to 15 years in jail, but in 2019, an appeal court said this was too lenient, leading to a retrial and a death sentence. The verdict comes as relations between Canada and China remain fraught. The Canadian ambassador to China, Dominic Barton, condemned the Chinese court's ruling, saying it was no coincidence that the verdict was released while an extradition battle involving senior Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou was ongoing in Canada. Ms. Meng, the daughter and founder of the Chinese telecoms company, is currently detained in Canada on a U.S. warrant. Schellenberg was detained in 2014 and charged with planning to smuggle almost 500 pounds of methamphetamine from China to Australia. He denies the charges and said he went to China as a tourist. In November 2018, he was sentenced to 15 years in jail. But a few days later, Canada detained Meng Wanzhou, a senior executive at Chinese tech giant Huawei, on a U.S. extradition warrant. China, at the time, warned of unspecified consequences unless Ms. Meng was released. Schellenberg later appealed against the 15-year prison term, but instead of reducing his sentence, judges ruled that his previous sentence had been too light and instead sentenced him to death. At his hearing, the judges said that the evidence proved he was more seriously involved in international drug smuggling. At the time, Schellenberg's lawyer, told Reuters that the sentence should not have been increased because no new evidence was presented at the trial. Another high-profile case involving a Canadian citizen is expected to be handed down by a Chinese court later this week. Michael Spaver, a businessman accused of espionage, was arrested in China two years ago, along with fellow Canadian and former diplomat Michael Kovrig. Their detentions came days after Canada detained Ms. Meng. In March, the trial of Mr. Spaver, lasting just two hours in the northern Chinese city of Danong, ended with no verdict. Canadian diplomats, including the charge d'affaires to China, were denied entry to the court. At the time, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau called the closed-door proceedings completely unacceptable. Beijing says they are criminals, sentenced, convicted, or awaiting trial. But Canada believes all are inevitably linked to the fate of a Chinese telecoms executive, sitting in her house in Canada, accused of fraud and fighting extradition. Meng Wanzhou was detained just after Robert Schellenberg was first tried. At his subsequent retrial, the Chinese court increased his sentence to death. The crimes committed by the two Michaels are far less clear. Canada's government believes their arrest and detention in the weeks following Meng's apprehension at an airport was retaliation. You are watching the International News Channel. I'm Hazar Alsaba.